What's up everyone? It is January 5th, just after 7 a.m. on Monday morning, and uh, ever since I can remember, or at least the days uh, around the time that I stopped watching Saturday morning cartoons, I have required eight and a half to nine hours of sleep to be able to function in my day. Um, I've always loved to sleep in, ever since I turned into a teenager, I just like can't get enough. and this habit is, is like stuck into la later years in life and I continue to sleep in and I continue to need like nine hours of sleep and especially with my work schedule it uh, I don't need to necessarily get up in the morning and you know I've been better at doing it and you know but it, it, it's been a challenge and if I don't get up right away it totally like messes up my day and I just become totally unproductive and I just think about how many how much hours I've wasted, like sleeping and being lazy and cathartic all day. So uh, within the last year or so, I heard about this thing called biphasic sleep. Um, and uh, it's basically, or, or otherwise known as siesta sleep. And um, I started doing a lot of research on it and I found out that, that it's actually kind of common in some other cultures and it's not this totally radical idea. And uh, there's also been like some arguments that before, uh, this is how we used to sleep before electricity existed. Uh, and basically what biphasic sleep is, is uh, the idea that you sleep in two separate chunks of sleep. So one core sleep and then a, uh, a nap later in the day. And this particular um, biphasic sleep method that I've been interested in is where you sleep about four and a half to five hours, more like four and a half, uh, at your core sleep, so 90 minute increments. Um, so you get three REM cycles, and then you take a 90 minute nap later in the day. And so the reason that you do this is that you get less sleep, and you have more energy, and you're more efficient, and most importantly, I can actually get up earlier, even though I go to bed late. So last night I went to bed at two, uh, almost three, seven, something like that, 2.45 and got up at like 7.15, however it worked out, I don't even remember at this point. Um, and yeah, and for luckily enough for those who, people who are nine to fivers who might not be able to do something like this, there's also another option where you could sleep six hours and then take a 20 minute nap later in the day. It's supposed to have a similar effect. Um, I've also, so I've tried this before, and the thing that's always messed it up has been uh, alcohol and overconsumption of caffeine. So for the next 30 days, I am going to be sleeping four and a half hours at night and then taking 90 minute naps in the day, and I'm not going to be drinking at all. Even if I had a beer or something in the past at night, I would wake up in the middle of the night and it would just totally mess up uh, the experiment or like my core sleep and then I just got thrown off. And then I'm also going to be regulating the amount of caffeine I drink too. So I already realized that this may be the most challenging 30-day uh, experiment that I've done because I've already had a really hard time getting out of bed after four and a half hours of sleep. So I'll keep you updated and I'm really excited about this one. It's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I just haven't been able to do it because I couldn't commit the 30 days of it. But here it is. Thanks for tuning in.